Mark Cavendish may have won 30 stages of the Tour de France, a Milan San Remo and a World Road Championships, but has he got what it takes to win the Mark Cavendish versus GCN Challenge, where he'll face a stare-off, rock, paper, scissors, a Mark Cavendish quiz and a Lego speed build. Let's find out. So Mark, next up is the Lego building round, okay? The rules are remarkably simple. It's the quickest to build either a Star Destroyer or a Resistance X-Wing fighter, so Jedi or Sith. You choose which we build, we'll move the other one away and we will start on the, on the clock. You know what? I've got a bit of a kind of strategy to it. Okay. Well, you've got these big hands, I've got these little <laughs> Okay. Small hands. So I've looked for the one with the fiddliest bits. That's going to be the X-Wing fighter, I reckon. The X-Wing fighter. Because I might stand a chance then. There's a bit of a strategy behind it. And then uh, that one looks like we do it quicker. Yeah, I think this, that one does look a bit, it does look a little bit fiddly, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So. You know, uh, like a proper scream at the kids when they don't do the instructions, what, read the instructions properly. That proper terrorizing yeah, them. A little that. bit of a perfectionist on it, so I completely get that. But yeah, you've got to do it right with Lego. Okay, it's taking shape. Oh, blimey. I think you've stolen a bit of a lead here. I'm going to have to really have a bit of a... <sighs> you know what? You're stressing too much, man. Don't stress. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm not overly confident, but I, I, I don't want to spend time looking across because it might just demoralize me. You don't look like you do well under high pressure situations, man. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, well, um, it wasn't even a bloody photo finish, was it? Point to you, Mark. Congratulations. No worries. Do you want to put the man in? Sure. Yeah, I'll put the man in. That's the fun of a little piece de resistance, isn't it? Next up is the classic enduring rock, paper, scissors. You know the rules? They're nice and simple. Three bangs on the table, we're off. Best of five. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Early days. Right, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay, we'll make this to the side of it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, what? So. Ah, you suck. Good strategies. Next up is the stare off. The rules again are very simple. We stare, <laughs> <laughs> and the first to blink is the loser. We can't do laughs. <laughs> and we're not allowed to laugh either. So basically, the first one to crack. After three. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know who laughed. Do it again. Oh, no, I don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right, just three, two, one. <laughs> Okay. Right, do, you want, do, you want a moment, do you want a moment? No. You're right. I just can't do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. So we come now, Mark, to the final round. The score is currently 2-1, all to play for still. And again, the rules are very simple. If you get the question right, you score a point. Yeah. If you get the question wrong, I score a point. You ready? First up, okay, Mark, here we go. Where was the finish town of your first ever stage win in the tour? Uh, Chateau. Correct, <laughs> correct, well done. Second question, 
Who was second on that stage? Oh. It's either Tor or Eric. No, it wasn't. It was Freire. It was Freire. It was Freire. Oh, I thought I had it. I that was I a top it. four, though. Yeah. It, yeah. I, so, Freire, correct. So, two out of two. It's looking good, Mark. Very, very good. Well played so far. Who did you beat into second place when you last won a stage of the Giro in 2013? So, your last stage win the Giro, who did you beat into second place? Was it Nizzolo? Sasha Modolo. Yeah. Okay. Two to you, one to me. So this really is the is the big big question. Okay, now really think about this one. What was the average speed when you won Milan San Remo? I'm going to give you three choices. You need to pick the right one. Okay, 44.004 k's an hour, 43.976 k's an hour, or 44.421. I'm going to say the fastest, 44 and a half. So 44.421? Yeah. Correct to Mundo. It was fast. We did the first 100k in two hours as well. Makes sense. You've won the cab versus GCN Challenge. I've yet to win a GCN Challenge. I need to put that right. But Mark, thanks for being such a good sport. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for taking the time to come along and have a laugh, basically. So good sport. Thanks, Cheers, man. Buddy. Cheers. Nice Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Well, thanks very much to Mark Cavendish. He certainly was a worthy and fierce competitor and ultimately the winner. I was beaten hands down. It looks like I need to get back to the drawing board, especially with my Lego skills. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do so by clicking on the globe just here. It's absolutely free. Now, for another challenge, this time with Mr. John Degenkolb, how about clicking just up here? And for sprinting tips with Mr. Mark Cavendish, with Lloydie, click just down here.